Well, as we told you, this week closes out June for us and with it the end of this year's Dairy Month. However, the issues surrounding dairy, particularly here in Louisiana, will be with us long after this week is over. And in this week's Bottom Line, Neil Melanson gives us some insight on what the industry needs not only to survive, but to thrive. The Bottom Line is brought to you by The Cotton Board, strengthening the fiber of our industry. First South Farm Credit, financing rural America since 1933. And by Progressive Tractor and Implement, your Case IH and Kubota dealer. The dairy industry in the U.S. right now is a study in contrast. On the one hand, you have declining milk consumption that has been going on pretty much since the USDA began keeping records on the subject. On the other hand, you have last year's record-breaking export year that is projected to be trumped by this year's exports. Taking a look at those two areas, we see a steady drop in fluid milk consumption that is leveling off a bit but still in decline. It's made up for in some other areas such as consumption of butter and cheese, but still doesn't cover the decline in dairy products as a whole. The rest of the world seems to have an increasing appetite for dairy due to a combination of factors, mostly an increase in the world's spending power. Last year, exports of dairy products came in at just over $5 billion. In May, the USDA bumped its projections of dairy exports this year to $5.3 billion. Again, there's some offset here as we're importing more cheese this year, but these sa export sales are particularly amazing when you consider the U.S. dollar is stronger this this year than last. Back to those declining numbers in milk consumption, we have yet another contrast. Does this ad look familiar? It's one of the most recognizable as well as one of the most copied advertisements ever. It's paid for by dairy checkoff dollars coming right out of the hands of dairy farmers themselves. And despite being one of the most popular brands in the world, the answer to Got Milk, though, is increasingly becoming no. The problem is, Americans are becoming more sedentary than ever before, and more importantly, indoors, so we're not getting as much vitamin D from sunlight. It should surprise no one, then, that a vitamin D deficiency is on the rise, a condition linked with MS, osteoporosis, heart disease, and even cancer. The bottom line? Drink your milk. And Mike, if you want to make sure those prices at the grocery store stay low for milk, drink your milk from Louisiana's dairy farmers like our friends at Klein Peter. Well, I, I would, but you got any of that from me? And I bet you Avery Davidson drank all the chocolate milk, didn't he? That's what I thought. Neil Melanson, thanks. And remember, you can listen to any of Neil's daily radio reports on the Louisiana Farm Bureau Agri-News Radio Network for a list of stations where you can tune in or listen online. Click on over to our website, twilighttv.org, and click on the LF Barn link. That does it for this edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. We will bring you encore presentations of our program for the next two weeks while we attend the 91st Annual Meeting of the Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation. While there, we will gather lots of stories from around the New Orleans and Crescent City area and cover the important issues in agriculture that all of us need to be aware of. New shows will be coming to you on July 13th. Until then, you can watch any of our stories online from past episodes or this week's program by visiting our website at twilighttv.org. For all of us here at This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Hope to see you again right here next week.